Welcome back. While hip and knee replacements have become commonplace over the past few decades, ankle replacement, because of the complex motion and weight-bearing issues, have been comparatively rare. But Robin Gordon reports doctors at Grant Medical Center are making some remarkable progress in this area. This is what Robert Wise's rebuilt ankle looked like after a 1988 car crash. Screws, pins, hooks, and lots of arthritis pain. I had no movement of the ankle at all. When I went to get out of the bed and get on it, I'd had to sit and think a long time before I had enough nerve to stand up because I knew it was going to hurt. Fed up with the pain and immobility, Robert decided three years ago to make the trip from his home in Huntington, West Virginia to Grant Medical Center here in Columbus, where he would have total ankle replacement surgery, performed by Dr. Gregory Burlett. What we're going to do is remove a small section of bone in here and replace that with metal and plastic. The artificial ankle joint that Robert had surgically implanted represents a technological leap forward from earlier versions in that, for one thing, it offers a more complete and natural range of motion. The initial designs were a hinge and they were fixed in the bone and they only allowed motion up and down. And what happened with time is that got loose from the bone and then people would redevelop pain. And what's different about what we're doing now is we not only have up and down, but we have rotation. Another important and advanced feature of the new implant is its durability. The big thing when we're replacing joints is that we are putting artificial mechanical parts into the human body. And everything is all about wear and friction. The ankle sits at the end of the body and so you've got all of your body weight being concentrated on a very small block. And so contact forces are huge. We've got to make sure the material can withstand that kind of weight and withstand it on an ongoing basis, step after step every day. Flexion, but your rotation should still be there. So. Dr. Burlett's goal is that at least 90% of the ankle implants are still functioning properly after 10 years of use. Research in Europe and the U.S. has so far supported this aim. Three years after his surgery, Robert Wise says his ankle is just fine. The mobility is so much better. I, I can get up in the mornings knowing that I'm not going to have all that pain. It's just been uh, a real blessing for me. While the ideal candidate for an ankle replacement is an older patient with limited functional demands, the implant success is making it more attractive to an expanding range of patients.